Hello and welcome to a Times special presentation for Tirukural with the Times, where we explore real-world lessons from the classic Tamil text Tirukural with motivational speaker, author, and diversity champion Bharti Bhaskar as she explores the masterpiece. Is the joy of meeting old friends worth the pain of parting? Or is it better to have fools as friends so that the separation doesn't hurt? Bharati shares a personal experience where she had a rampantious meet-up with a group of old friends only to realize the parting was exceedingly painful. What has Valluvar got to say about this? I was surfing TV channels and suddenly got glued to Sindhu Bhairavi, a blockbuster movie of the 80s. A passing scene in the movie grabbed my attention. The protagonist, an acclaimed singer, finishes a concert but is unable to sleep. He wants to talk about the performance of the day and about music in general. As he comes out searching for like-minded people, he finds his accompanying artist indulged in a game of cards. Unable to find the august company that his heart throngs for, lurched in loneliness, he returns to his room. Not only eminent artists, but all of us long to be with friends of same wavelength who share similar values, goals and passion. The magic unfolds each time you are with like-minded people and it is one of the greatest pleasures bestowed upon us in a world otherwise filled with darkness. In such get-togethers, time flows like an eternal river that drifts to timelessness. My college reunion happened a while ago and it was a memorable event. It was as though years were slipping away and we were back to our teens, stepping on the vast corridors of our college. In the first semester, we were a small set of shy girls and noisy boys that became one massive group of unmanageable recalcitrant gang as semesters passed. On the reunion occasion, the boisterous gang was back in action. We were laughing and yelling just as we did decades ago. That we are parents and some grandparents too, professors, CXOs, writers, government officials, etc. did not interfere with the ongoing celebration. In the midst of having fun, we were also discussing our favorite topics, everything from international politics to market opportunities, midlife crisis to parenting challenges, they were all on the discussion table. The beauty of a true friendship is that friends always pick up right where they left off. We may be far apart, but our bond remains unbreakable. The laughter is louder when we are reunited. A friend from childhood or teens knows more about us than our spouses or children. They know our parents, siblings, childhood homes, secrets, infatuations and follies. As the reunion ended, a huge blanket of melancholy descended on us. It's time to return to our routines. There was no way to become college kids again. The pain of the second separation is sometimes stronger than the first separation itself. We don't know when we could all meet up again. Even if there would be another meeting in future, how many of us are going to make it? As Bruno Fuga, the poet, asked, Beyond the blue, what will it be? Will we all meet? Will we be free? Will we get what we finally need? As I was driving back in silence, I recalled a couplet by Valduvar about meeting with friends. I could visualize the scenario under which he would have written that kural. Valduvar was probably in a get-together with his close clan of scholars. Ideas and philosophies were discussed, poems were tabled and there was thunderous laughter warm tears, angry confrontations, enlightened discussions and serendipity filled silence. Then it was time for the friends to leave. As they left one by one, Valduvar walked to the end of the street to see them off. 
Once the last of the elite members of the fraternity left, he walked back home. Each step was slower than the previous one. His heart was heavy and burdened with the sorrow of separation. He reached his house, dusted the tinai or the seat at the house's foyer with a sand towel and sat on it. He said to himself, Maybe one should bond only with fools. Friendship with dancers or much better because separation from such a group will never be painful. He glanced back at the house filled with the reminiscences of the reunion. Here is where they all ate, sang and rejoiced and wrote poetries on palm leaves. It was as though the walls were still reverberating with the sounds of their laughter. He took a deep breath. What else can one do except to wait until that hour, if and when they meet again? Then he murmured, Perindinidu pedayar kenmai, Pirivinkan pedai taruvadu vandril. Friendship with inharmonious fools is exceedingly delightful, for at parting there will be nothing to cause pain. <laughs>